Hello everybody, my name is Shabnam781 and today we are going to be playing some more here what remains of Edith Finch. We we're basically um going back on where we left off. I'm doing this right after the last episode that I've just recorded. Um But yeah. We're at this um salmon place where Lewis used to work. Um but yeah, yeah. Apparently, there's this thing that's taking over him. So I'm guessing it's that dream that we just had. Yeah. Anyway, let's get right into it and see what he wants. Inch, hello. Okay. I still thought I could save him. Don't tell me he he went on this like I'm doing. And he like dropped out of this window or something. I don't know. The palace would be packed with his companions. You are fucking huge. You look like Groot. I mean, what the fuck am I on about? Gru, I'm on about. Gru, because he has the blue kind of thing in he, the scarf. Hey, let's go. Hey. Yeah, you swing those things. Yeah, boy, shake that ass up there. Look at you, Hagrid looking ass motherfucker. Hmm. Hey. Hey. I know where I'm going, you dumbass. I'm gonna slap you. No, you 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 you're messing with me. You're messing with me right now. Who are these bloody pinheads? Hold on. Give me a second. Yeah, everything's good. was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. That's messed up, man. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. I didn't get Dawn or Sanjay or whatever, I don't know. I didn't get Edie. I'm missing a lot of people. Damn. Let's keep going. Oh, pulling it. Okay, it's not a push door. <clears throat> On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. Well, he told her soon. Yeah, because of the whole thing. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. Hmm. Yes, and that's Sanjay. And they bought a bunch of books that Dawn wrote. I don't know, man. Yeah. Get over the fucking thing. Oh, got a ladder. 
got ourselves a ladder. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. This is bloody packed. Like, don't you feel claustrophobic in this shit? Like, boy. Damn. A lot of books. Now that is cool. You just made that out of paper. That's fucking mad. That. You know what? Everything in this game is amazing. She made the people too. How did you know about these people? She got an iPad bro, look at that. Right there. That pink thing. Next to her teddies. Special feather. Don't fucking break it. That whole last day, Edie just watched his pack and didn't say a word. Until supper when she raised her glass and said, mm. To our final night together. And all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edie, specific. I left a present for you. In the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Oh. Are we playing... I don't know who we're playing us now. When my mom said the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. There was or another entrance? Key to it. You sneaky son of a gun. Damn, bro. Massive library, man. Has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your story. Oh shit. Grandma and Mama having conflict, bro. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. No, you can't leave bloody thingy on her own. Can't leave Grandma. Bro, she can't even survive. Are we, are we supposed to go to it? There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, hmm. it smelled awful. <laughs> no, I've seen that house every day of my life. Oh, it's the old house. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Oh no. Just follow the sun. I got turned around. Huh? You should be careful when you're going in fog, because that, that shit's thick. What are you doing here? Fuck out of here. Just follow the ground. Had ever existed. 
Ha! My teeth. Anyway. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Damn, this is messed well, maybe up. I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! No. Let go, Mom. I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. You bitch. I never saw a great grandma Edie again. Oh. The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Mom, you're After a bitch. Meow. We both tried to make the best of it. Mom's an airplane. Mayday, mayday, meow. Here we go up. I'm such a child. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But uh, I guess she didn't. Sick a lot. <coughs> oh gosh. The rest happened pretty quickly. <laughs> she got better for a while. This is karma for leaving grandma. And then I was alone. Damn. Last inch left alive. Until I found out about you. Well, me. <laughs> I ain't a finch. I'm not sure what to tell you about all this. Oh wait, no, you're pregnant, so you forever. Maybe we'd have time to understand things. Yeah, you're pregnant, I forgot. Is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. You're talking to your baby. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. Is this Am I the baby trying to come out the womb? I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. It looks like it. But I guess if you're reading this now, things yeah. work out that way. I think I think I am. I'm so close. I see the light. This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. She died. She was only 18 years old. And that's her son. Damn. The house is still there. Looks like perfectly new, kind of. Story by Giant Sparrow. For Shirley Dallas. Damn. I feel sorry for her. That's what she's been through. Ian Dallas, creative director. Josh, you're so Are these all the people or is like or are these the um the the actual people in from the actual story? <laughs> Look at that kid. Oh, who's that? 
Poor guy. Hey, man looks swag. What are you what are you doing, boy? What are you got in your hand there? Guess there's a lot of people in this. <laughs> Look at that guy. Uh, the duck lips. <laughs> Damn, look at you, bro. You're, you're flexing on everyone. You got a rocket behind you. Man doing some revision, okay. She won some championship, okay, nice. <gasps> puppy! You have a puppy. You have a big dog now. You were a painter, nice. You rode your bike. <laughs> you look like you're um, uh, doing a bit of mischief there. Cute babies, man. These are some lucky people. <laughs> Look at that baby. <laughs> oh. Damn. Well, that was an actual story from an actual person. So. Wow, well, someone actually had to. You shouldn't be holding that. You should not be holding that type of weapon. Okay? <laughs> Man. But that's like kind of upsetting because an actual person experienced this. Like, I don't know if all of it was completely the same, but like the deaths and all that, but it's kind of sad that it was it's like a family thing she lost everyone that she loved um it's just like once you, it's it's very emotional let's just say that um like losing your loved ones is not the best thing the end yeah that must have been a very tragic thing for those people the repo sorry it's not a thing no nah, I'm good man but um yeah I'm gonna leave that vi I'm gonna leave this video here then um seeming as this that's the end of the Thing, the end of the game very upsetting um, game and story but um yeah uh, thank you guys for watching this video uh, hopes make sure you like and subscribe and turn post notifications and I'll see you in the next one peace like